I know it looks bad, but I know what I'm doing. I got it. a bonnet I see the helmet of salvation and today I'm gonna be putting on a wig from honey's hair I am so excited about this I have been really taking a break from heat that's what I usually do with my hair I kind of flip back and forth between straight hair and like twist outs but lately I have just been wanting something a little bit easier I decided to invest in a very nice wig I have not wore a wig since 2019 and I do not have the best experience with wigs let me tell y'all so the first wig that I ever bought, I, I don't even remember where I got it from, but it was just like this like thin wig with like bangs, very Nicki Minaj influenced. And it was really thin and my I didn't know how to braid my hair. So I would just stuff my hair underneath the wig cap and just put it on top. So it was like a big fat helmet head and then like thin little stringy hair. <sighs> Miss Jackson. Anyway. Um, after that, my next wig I got at a discount because it was right after Halloween and they were getting rid of the Halloween wigs. And I don't know why I didn't think this is a Halloween wig, you need to find something else. But I was like, ooh, a white ombre, that's cute. None of the girls are doing white ombre. I'm going to do it, definitely a Halloween wig. <laughs> and when I had that wig, I would put like my edges out and try to like comb my edges into it, but I didn't know how to lay them properly. I've come a very long way. I trust myself. I trust the process. And I really, really needed something nice that's gonna last me a long time. And I chose Honey's hair. This wig is a 20 inch 5x5 HD lace closure wig. It is human hair, body wave, and 200% tensity. <sighs> I really wanted something high, high quality that was gonna last me for a long time. And this is what I chose. This wig is also from their Honeycomb line. They have two separate options. They have the Honeycomb and Honeystick. So the Honeycomb is gonna be the higher quality, higher density. And then if you are on a budget or something like that, you can always go with Honeystick. I love options. I really appreciate that. But this is what I went with. This is a unboxing video. I have not opened this box. I have not seen what this wig looks like. This is all gonna be first impressions. I'm so excited. I will say in the box that they did send me, I got this cute little um, green clip-in. So if you wanted to add a little bit of color, I thought this was really nice. I love when companies do just like cute little stuff just in case you wanna try something different. I love that. Okay, this is my first time opening it. Here we go. Once you, once you go there, you can't go back, you know? Like this is, it's, I love unboxing. Oh, okay, here we go. First of all, let's talk about the packaging. I forgot to even say, the packaging is so cute. Look at this. this hold on, let me get, Oh, look how cute this is. I love that, and the bow was really cute, but she's gone now, I'm sorry, I did it. Okay, here we go. First of all, I love this box. I love boxes that can be like reused. Oh, it's one of those magnetic ones too. <gasps> Look, that's nice. We have a good quality box. All right, here we go. <sighs> okay. Okay, this is how it came. Nicely packaged and protected with their little sticker. We love that. Oh, okay. It has all the details for the hair that I bought right here. See it? Yeah, love that. <clears throat> they sent me this little edge brush. I like these ones specifically because they have this little um, comb section at the end. These are my favorite kind actually. And then this set of wig caps, which is lovely to have. And then inside is this little business card from them, which is so cute and it says Honey's Hair. We provide all your needs for exceptional hair to extend your confidence and beauty to the world. From bundles to wigs to lace frontals and closures, we have all that you need. And then it has their contact information. This is really cute, okay. Okay, so, so far I love the packaging. It's very, very cute. Okay, let me take these out and need these. I will be keeping and reusing this box. All right, so let's get into this hair. I'm about to Take this up. 
Okay. Here we go. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow. This is so soft. This is nice. So the density is really as good as I was expecting. I'm not gonna lie, I did not know what density or the, the terminations or whatever about density. I was very recently educated on this, but this is so, look how full this is. And it's so soft. That is nice. Woo, okay, let's get into the, let's look at the lace. Okay, let's look at the lace now. All right, and this is what the front looks like. And then inside, so you can see the little closure. It does have, let me see, one, two. There are three combs, two on the side and one in the back. It has the adjustable straps, which is really nice. And this is a medium size cap. You can see the closure and then I'll let y'all see the lace. I picked a closure just because, like I said, I have not done a wig in so long. I actually just didn't trust myself to jump right into a full frontal um, or anything like a 13 by five or anything like that. So I just wanted to keep it cute and keep it simple for right now. And then I can always upgrade. This is so nice. Oh my God. Okay, all right, here we go. So this is what the lace looks like up close. There it is. This is it against my hand. Boop. This is cute. The knots are a little bit of a concern for me because I'm not gonna be bleaching them, but I am gonna try to just cover it up with foundation and hope that it goes well. I will not be bleaching anything. I will not be bleaching anything and I'm gonna try to avoid gluing. I have wood glue, but I'm gonna try to avoid it. I really just don't want to do that. Okay, so, so far, I am obsessed. It's very thick. It's very, very soft. I won't really know much about shedding until I really start messing with it. But so far, right out the box, I haven't had any problems. Yeah, everything looks really good. It's really soft. That's like the major thing I'm excited about. I have never had a human hair wig myself, but... I'm gonna treat this, I'm gonna treat this wig so good. What did he say? So the first thing I wanna do is work on the hairline because this is not gonna work. This is also why I got just a, um, a closure and not a full frontal because that's just so much work and I have not had enough experience with wigs. I'm not gonna film it just because it's gonna take a long time, but basically, what I'm gonna do is, I don't know if y'all have been paying attention on TikTok, but people have been talking about Arrogant Tay's masterclass and some of the tricks they learned from him. This one I have seen on YouTube um, before, but I've never actually done it. So I'm gonna do it. So what you basically do, let me see if I can't pull y'all down here so you can see what I'm doing. My plan is to make a part back here and I'll start plucking back here. And then I'll make another part and start plucking back here and then I can come in and um, clean up the front and do any baby hairs. But that's the plan. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll come back. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. Let me, t let me, let's get real. Let's, let's have a serious conversation here. I'm not a professional in any way, shape or form. I watched so many videos to prepare myself for this. I think I may have overplugged it. Um, I'm not gonna show it right now because I'm terrified. So we're just gonna ride this out, me and you. We're gonna just ride it out. But what I'm gonna do is just put it on, see how it looks, and then I will make any adjustments I need to make from there. Here we go. So I am gonna be using this wig grip that I got from my beauty supply. It was $6 and it has the little lace 
um, section in the front, which is really, really nice. I'm about to just throw foundation on all this. I'm gonna cut the lace, do baby hairs, and we're gonna see, we're gonna see. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I cut the bottom off. I'm going to tint the lace and then I'm gonna put foundation here. Whoa. That's a lot better, okay. So I'm gonna use this wax stick from the Beauty Supply to do my part and I'm gonna use this styling foam to do my edges. I don't know if I'm going to actually lay it down. I'm hoping to just do glue lace so it would be easy to work with. But I did get this Wonder Lace Bond from my beauty supply store. Um, I'm trying to avoid got to be just because from personal experience, I always end up flaky, crusty. Not even wigs, obviously. Just my natural hair when I put it on my edges. It's always crusty and I'm not interested in that lifestyle. <laughs> okay, here we go. This section is gonna be the baby hairs right here. I'm gonna cut them off. And I'm gonna leave them a little longer than I normally would just to give me room to work with if necessary. Okay, so right now we are just mapping out where we want our part to be. She's in this wax stick to kind of just like determine where everything is gonna be and really lay it down. I'm back and I've made some decisions. We're gonna be doing a side part. The look I envisioned, like the hair I envisioned, we did have another part, but it doesn't make a major difference. We're just gonna switch it up. So here we go. So I did hot comb this down. It's like plugged up in a really funky spot, so give me one second. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this foam and work on my edges. Okay, so this is on. I'm gonna go curl this wig and maybe do my makeup and I'll be back. Okay, it's time for the reveal. I had to take a minute. I had to really get it together, but I think, pause. Hi, it's me. Um, two days after this, I did revisit this look because I was not happy with how it came out. So I'm gonna show you guys what I ended up thinking was, was decent versus what I have now. I feel like I did a little better job. And then we'll we'll get back to the regular video. Okay, bye. I did it. I really think I did it. Okay, so let me get y'all a little zoomed in. So you can see it's not perfect, but it is it's cute. I think it looks really good. <laughs> okay, so this is what I came back with two days later. I did have to revisit the whole thing because I don't know, like I said, I've been a long time since I put on a wig, but I just wasn't totally satisfied with how it looked initially, so I did end up using the spray adhesive that I showed y'all earlier. I used the wax stick, hot comb, I used concealer, uh, black eyeshadow. I, I, I used everything in my bathroom to try to make this look as good as I possibly could. So I think for the first time in a few years, it's a pretty decent attempt. Um, Hopefully it gets a little better in the future, but I will say the quality of the hair wasn't a problem throughout the whole process. The hair is really good. So it was nice to not have like any additional issues on top of the issues that I was creating. It's really soft, it curled really nice. I've had these curls in for about, oh, I wanna say like a few hours now. It worked really well with me. I didn't have any issues when I was when I was doing it. No tangles, snags, loss of shedding, none of that. Everything was really good. 
love the quality and I forgot to say that honey's hair is black owned so please go support them I'll put a link in the description so y'all can check them out and show them a little bit of support um, because they really have good quality stuff over there and like I said they do have the honeycomb and honey stick option so you have like more of a premium option and then more of a cost effective option if you need it with still good quality hair so definitely definitely check them out Give me a little while like I think after a minute I can probably I can probably come back a little bit better on the wigs but this is a definitely this is definitely a good like for now you know what I mean and then here is just a little close-up of the shine the luster is that the right hair word I don't know but it's nice it's really really soft I don't have any problems working with it or anything like that so please go check them out Please be patient with me, I have so much going on. I did move not too long ago, whatever since then, I've just been changing my whole apartment. I've been getting rid of furniture, getting new furniture, the couch will be different very, very shortly. So my videos might be a little bit spotty right now. I really do apologize for that. But I wanted to get this out because I was really, really, really happy with this hair and happy with this wig. It definitely deserved a better um, applicant. But I did my absolute best. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to check out Honey's hair. And oh, oh my gosh. You can use code NENA for 15% off. So if you find anything on the site that you like, if you want to grab you a few bundles, please use my code for 15% off. Um, if you end up getting your hair, don't don't be afraid to like tag me. For anything else that I've ever um, endorsed, like tag me if you take a picture. I love seeing what everybody comes up with, what y'all look like with your wigs and your glasses. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If y'all have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I love talking to you guys. I do my best to get back to everybody. So please leave any comments or questions below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.